Hello everyone, welcome back to Real Life. I hope you're having a great day. It's always a pleasure to share a new episode with you. Before we start today's episode, a reminder that you have access to our easy to use episode map guide which will link you to all 1300 plus episodes around the globe. Just click on the map link below, zoom into any part of the planet, click on the blue, red or orange dot to connect you directly with that episode. The episode title and details will appear on the left side. Click on the blue link and you're on to that vintage reel or video. You may want to zoom in closer as there may be more than one episode clustered together. And a special hello to everyone in Delaware, Ohio and Gunnison, Colorado. I hope to entertain you and pique your interest in obscure and fascinating vintage amateur footage from around the globe and over the past century. This 1936 reel is a fascinating piece of music history. Sadly, there is no sound to accompany the 87-year-old footage. Researching these old films is often a challenge. However, the Sack Set Company sticker Elvin fixed to one of his Kodak film boxes made researching these reels much easier. Born in 1897, Elvin J. Fitchhorn studied music in Chicago. He auditioned and toured with John Philip Sousa's band. During the First World War, he was a soloist in the U.S. Army's 317th Field Artillery Band, where he played his French horn for the King of England and for the King and Queen of Belgium. Musicians also served as stretcher bearers, bringing wounded doughboys out of no man's land at the front. His hearing was damaged during the war, and he was told that music would not be part of his life until he could get his hearing restored. As a result, he took up photography and operated a studio in Kenton, Ohio, until he was given the restorative surgery. With his hearing back to normal, he sold his photography studio and came to Morrow County, returning to his musical roots, starting with the Mount Gilhead Boy Scout Band in 1925. The local businessman convinced sponsors to purchase instruments and raise funds for concerts during the summer evenings on the square. Mount Gilhead then hired him for the 1926 school year and he taught at the school through 1929 when the Delaware City Schools lured him away. Mount Gilhead won many competitions under Fitchhorn and by 1936 he was listed as one of the top high school bandmasters in the United States. He's also known as the father of pre-band instruments in America as he felt that music should be taught starting in the fourth grade. He subsequently invented the sax set in 1929. Mount Gilhead was the first school that he experimented with this instrument. During the Second World War, brass and other metals were needed for the war effort. Fitchhorn solved the shortfall with a plastic song flute. Still perfect with pitch, he proclaimed it as not a toy, but an instrument. During the time he was at Mount Gilhead, he took the scout band to perform at an Ohio State football game in the shoe. Once he left the Delaware schools, he mainly focused his attention on instructing music teachers to teach music instruction for children. Here's where he felt was his true calling. He passed away in his sleep in 1985 at the age of 88 in New Mexico. This reel appears to be a Delaware, Ohio youth band led by Fitchhorn, possibly a junior high school on a tour to Gunnison, Colorado. There is no known information on this school tour at this time, however, more details may come to light as a result of this short footage. What is also clear is that Elvin clearly appreciated his photography background, as he or someone in his employ captured this wonderfully composed footage.
the unique theater's marquee on North Main Street can clearly be seen. Don't forget to subscribe, as that's the only way you'll learn of the new episodes being released Fridays and Saturdays. Thank you for helping fill in the blanks on all these episodes. On occasions, I do make mistakes. I mispronounce locations and sometimes overlook some details. I very much appreciate the corrections you share on the comments section. Thanks for not being too hard on me. It's a delight seeing the collaboration among viewers. It's even more meaningful when I learn that a family member or friend is recognized, even 50 plus years later. The W on the hillside is for Western Colorado University. If you enjoyed this reel, subscribe and stay tuned as there are two more Fitchhorn reels coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be kind, and we'll see you next time on Real Life.